Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another LOL Surprise Thel unboxing. So today we have the LOL Surprise Mini Suites, the regular and the surprise o -matics. Now, I found these at my local Walmart today, and after seeing the pictures online and the cute little accessories that they come with and the fact that they are themed with like vintage candies really made me want to get them because I had a feeling these are probably going to be a little bit harder to find because of that brand loyalty. The people that normally wouldn't buy a um, an LOL doll are going to buy them for some of these brands in my in my opinion. Um, so I did actually pay retail for them. Kind of surprising in my part. My part. But here is the UPC for the small ones. For anybody who is interested and wants to try and find them in their stores. Uh, I did pay $10.88 for the small ones. And then the surprise of Maddox right here. I paid $16.88. So I got three of the surprise of Maddox and five of the um, and five of the regular. So it's spent about 45 or uh, around 16, so about, about 48 compared to 50. So three versus five. So we'll see if the, uh, if the difference is worth it. As far as I'm aware, it's all the same ones in the surprise o -matics. It's not set ones, but we're gonna double check that. There were more of the surprise o at the store, but I wasn't entirely sure that they were gonna be different inside, so I only risked three. But let's start with them. So again, we already showed the, uh, we already showed the UPC. So we're just gonna try to get this open. Let's see if we can get all of our things off in one pull without it. Okay. So here's another example of one. I think that's the Hershey's Girl. So it looks like Twizzlers on the sticker. Let's see if the sticker matches, because sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. We've got another little pull tab over here. And I love Twizzlers. So if it is Twizzlers, I would be okay with that. But, as always, there is a little bit of chaos to opening these little surprise o things. I don't normally get them, so let's see. So what we're going to do, we're going to take all that. Okay. Here's our little instructions. And then we get the, oh, I'm pretty sure the doll's on the on this side. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that out. And we're going to look at all of these things. So here we've got our insert for our surprise o So it does look like there are seven here on the thing. So we've got Peeps, we've got Chapa Chops, uh, Bazooka, Reese's Pizzas, Jolly Ranchers, Twizzlers, and Pez. But it does look like we have the full 12 here on the back. So if we did get Strawberry Twirl, which is the name of the Twizzlers girl, it looks like she is a common. Okay, yes, so our, so our stickers are going to match our, um, our interiors, so that's fun. So I love Twizzlers. So let's see what kind of Twizzlers surprise we get. As always, there's some little instructions. 
you know, unboxing again and again. Your stand can go on the top. We'll get all that done. Okay. Another little insert. Okay. So this one. These are a little more chaotic, like I've said. Uh, just because, I don't know, they want kids to spend more time unboxing them for what they're paying. Which is fair. Okay, so here's her little hot pants for her Twizzlers look. Very cute. And then we're gonna try to get these. Off of one go. I think this is the bag. Okay, we'll see. Oh, there's a third one down here, oddly enough. Oh, yep, a big Twizzlers purse with some glitter. Uh, this is doll sized, so not just LOL size. So that's one of the that is one of the accessories that I like to buy these dolls for. So we are going to try to get all of these off. Okay, here is her Twizzlers shirt. Very cute. And now if I do see a duplicate from the sticker, I won't unbox the rest of it. Just FYI. Uh, but that's okay. Very cute. Okay. And we've got our little cup, which is very cute. So our Twizzlers cup, there's a little bit of glitter spill, but that's an easy fix, just with some acetone. Uh, I have to be careful that it's not actually a red cup that's been really well painted. But other than that. Very cute. I think these are gonna be one shoe. Hmm. Interesting. Why they did one shoe, I don't know. But seems to me like it would have been easier to do both shoes in one, but alright. There's our other shoe. And I didn't notice that her socks say Twizzlers, too, so that's really cute. Now we've got a couple more things down here. So, of course, we've got a little headband kind of thing, which is very cute. Very cute right there. And then, and then the stand that we have right here. To be able to put her right on top of her little thing. On top of her capsule. So, very cute. Yeah, that's the only place to put her. But. So, very cute. I'm gonna put her little accessories in front of her. So, hopefully we don't get duplicates, in the surprise matics at least. 
but we shall see. Again, these are the ones we're looking at. As always, I'm looking for the boy because boy dolls need to be more represented. But he is an ultra rare, unfortunately. So I don't think I'll find him in this series, which is unfortunate. But, eh, you know, I have found ultra rares in the wild before, so you never know. Maybe it'll happen. Bum, bum. see what we got so we got a pink one this time let's see we've got our sticker let's see who it's gonna be oh it's mini sweet so we got our Hershey's girl well, that's cute okay okay I don't know if the if the smaller ones come with the, uh, with the stickers or not. Most of the time they do, but you never know. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to take all these out because we already have copies of those. And since we got our Missy Melts, she is a fancy, so I guess that equates to common. But let's see what she looks like. Okay. There we go. She looks very cute. She's got those chocolate wrapper, like, armbands. and a very Sia-inspired haircut. A little bit of, uh, of 80s flair, but not too bad, or not too much. And of course, we've got her little Hershey's dress. Very, very cute. Which is actually, I think, a new mold because I have not encountered this one before, and unfortunately I've actually collected quite a few LOL dolls by this point, and very seldomly do you see dresses, and I did just pop her head off because it's easier to put clothes on sometimes like that. Um, but yeah, that's a super cute little dress. Okay. Let's see what we got over here. Okay, this is a little Hershey's bag. Very cute, very doll sized, or big doll sizes, I should say. And then our surprise in here is our little uh, foot stand for number three. So it's not always the same things in the same boxes, which is fun, but you never know. We'll see. Um, and then we have actually another top. I don't know if she's supposed to come with two outfits. She might. She might be supposed to. We'll see. But I don't really think the uh, dress needs that. We've got one shoe. Right here. Another shoe. Okay. 
Very cute. We've got our cup, which is our Hershey's milk, Hershey's chocolate milk kind of thing. Okay, yes, she does come with two outfits. Okay. So that's really cute. So she comes with a dress, and then she comes with a spare outfit. That's actually kind of cool. I do like that for when you inevitably wind up with those um, LOL dolls that lose their outfits. But I like her better in that outfit. Because that ruffle dress is just super cute, in my opinion. But this is a cute little bag. And as you guys know, I love to get the little, like, little cups and things that they have. So, there's those two right there. Twizzlers and Hershey's. Which is awesome. And now we're going to do our last one for the surprise o -matics. And we are going to pop this open. I thought I got it all the way down. I guess I didn't. Well, I did. It's just really good on there. And it is a third color. So hopefully that means we don't have a duplicate. As you can see, it is this pink color. So let's see what we got. One, two. Ah, Milk Duds. Oh, she's very cute. Okay, let's see what she is. Milk Duds is another common. Okay. So, but at least we didn't get duplicates in the expensive ones, or the not expensive relative to LOL, I guess. Um, and that's very cute. It's pink and red, which is a lot going on. Um, upside down. Uh, so what we're going to do is take our doll out again. We don't need to hold on to those inserts because they're all the same. And there she is. Looking very cute. She does have a defect on her head, unfortunately, which is pretty noticeable. But, again, I don't really collect these for the little dolls, um, but that is kind of, kind of surprising. Okay, 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 and we've got our cute little thing right here. Our little skirt piece. Very cute. <laughs> and then our little second little box. I feel like this is the purse. Not want to come out. Okay, yes. So it's like a little clutch that says Milk Duds. That's super cute. I apologize if you guys can hear the uh, can hear them using the leaf blower in the background. Very cute little shirt for her. Again, I don't love the way these shirts are designed just because sometimes it's hard to get these on the doll to where they're actually supposed to be. Okay. 
think that's as close as we're going to get that. But. Again, this might be one that comes with two separate outfits because I don't know if that top really goes with that skirt. But we'll see. Okay, so it does come with two separate outfits, but this is a little, like, unitard that I guess probably is supposed to go with the skirt. Let's see what else we got down here. Okay, so we do have our Milk Duds milk carton, which is great. And then... Some of these little bracelets and accessories. Very cute. And then a little headband, which unlike the other bow, does not come off. That does not come off, this one actually does. And it actually fits into the little glasses spots which is always fun. Uh, we also have this down here, which is her little stand. Okay, then we're gonna get our last boxes out and hopefully these are just the shoes yes okay so just the little shoes with a little palm on each But I am, I think, going to swap her outfit. I don't know, is this supposed to look like that? Like that. What does her art look like? That's what I should look at. Okay, so no, it does look, it does go on there. It's just the, uh, the little uh, bracelet and the unitard go together. Very cute. And then we'll put her Milk Dud stuff up there. And she does come with that extra outfit. So that's nice. So some of them come with extra outfits, but not all of them. Like Twizzlers didn't come with an extra outfit, which I find kind of funny. Uh, okay, so there's those three. And we're going to look at the individual ones now, without the surprise matics. Again, we saw these. As far as I'm aware, these are the same ones, but it could be different, because I don't remember seeing Mike and Ike's or Dum Dums in the um, listing for the other ones. And these are actually in the paper balls that they started doing with the Earth Day release. So that's wonderful. I love that. Because the amount of plastic waste that was going into these was huge. So again, these are just the paper balls that look a little bit like a Death Star. Which, honestly, if you were doing dioramas, this would be a good thing to use as a Death Star, because it's already got a little indention. Um, and it just pops like that. Bada boom. And we're going to see what we've got in here. Okay, so this, if the stickers are holding true, 
is going to be the Jolly Ranchers. But let's take a look at this thing first. I'm pretty sure this poster is different. Yes, it is. Okay. So this poster is different. So you do get different ones. Yes. Okay. So there is the Mike and Ikes, which is the little ones. And then I guess that's it as far as the uh, kind of special ones. There's not a second boy in this one. So that's unfortunate. So there's no overlap in between these. Let me show you guys the others. So these are all of the ones that are available. So we've got Pez, Hershey's, Peeps, Sweetheart. So there are two different Peeps. And there's a Hershey's Kiss and a regular Hershey's. And there are five different Jolly Rancher ones between the two series. So, interesting. So if you want the Bazooka Bubble Boy, Bubblegum Boy, you have to buy the surprise o -matic. So, interesting. Uh, so, the ultra rare in this line is the uh, Mike and Ikes, which has actually got two dolls in it. So, that's kind of interesting. But, so cute. Her hair is actually, like, transparent. That's super cute. Um, but, we're going to take all that out of the way. And just start opening some things, because there's no order in these. And we got her clothes first. It's a one-piece, thankfully. Because it's connected by suspenders. Um, which is kind of a good thing and a bad thing. I'm going to pop her head off. Uh, for these dolls because it's a good thing in that you are never going to lose the entirety of the outfit, but it's also a bad thing in that you can't, like, mix and match the fashions, really. But she's very cute. And she's got two different color shoes for her very cute Jolly Rancher look. Which, wait. Yeah, okay. So there's six Jolly Ranchers, I think, actually. That does not want to go on there. at a time. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna have to twist it on a little bit. I don't know why these shoes are not slit or something. But it makes them very difficult to put on. And the other one just kind of flew away from me. Which is unfortunate. Huh. 
Okay. For now, she's got one shoe. Because <laughs> I don't know if I have it in me to play I Spy today. Anyway, moving on. So this is our Jolly Rancher little backpack. Very cute. I wish it had real straps though, but it's nice and big to hold things. Whew. And then this is our Jolly Rancher's cup. That's got like a Slurpee cup kind of vibe and this is her hat very cute right there yeah and then we've got some glasses for her too Let's see. Are there little divots? Not really. So, hmm. There are kind of divots, it looks like, but they're not very deep the point where you can't really use them, or at least on mine you can't. And there's not little spots to hook them onto the hat either, so I don't know. Uh, so the only downside to these is that there is no stand included in the paper bowls, which kind of sucks, but such as life, right? So we're gonna push her back over there and grab the next one off our shelf. And again, a nice paper ball. And we got to take this one out. Open it up and see who we got with our sticker. Okay, so we got the hot tamales girl. Very cute. She is a, another common. I don't think I mentioned that. Uh, our Jolly Rancher Girl is a uncommon. Okay, here is our Red Hots. And not our Red Hots, our Hot Tamales purse. Again, nice and big, which is great to keep it on that uh, bigger doll scale. And we've got her outfit, which is two pieces, so that's fun. Put all the rest of this away. And her shoes. I really started pulling from the wrong direction, y'all. <laughs> I didn't get the doll at first. <laughs> okay, here she goes. So, she's very cute. Again, she's got some fishnets on. She's got like a little like bustier painted on. Some matching undies. But. Very cute. 
and the flame pattern already matches like you wouldn't have to put her shirt on if you didn't want to but it is kind of what ties in the hot tamales look So that's what she looks like. We're gonna get her little shoes on. I think we've got some accessories still to grab for her. But very cute so far. We've got her flame glasses. Uh, she does have some of the normally placed little uh, indents. I don't love this way of attaching glasses on that MGA has grown fond of, but sometimes it does line up correctly and sometimes it doesn't. But that's what she looks like. She's very cute. We still got a couple more things. So here is the hot tamales little drink. Again, very cute, very much big doll size. And then this one is, got that. It's a really big bag for one little thing. Okay, so that's her bracelet. And that's it for Hot Tamale. But very cute. So I've got to actually take the trash bag off because it is swinging around too much. <sighs> so we're going to do our next one. So I haven't seen any second outfits so far in the, uh, in the balls, but you never know. There could be more. We shall see. This one is blue. It's got a little blue surprise on it. That. Take our big ball of surprise stuff out of here. And we're going to look and see if we got any on the now. Right? Okay. Oh, so we did get another Jolly Rancher girl. She looks cute. Very Copacabana kind of vibe. Uh, so let's get her unboxed. Right? Okay, sorry, green Jolly Rancher girl, very cute. A little bit of, uh, of dimpling on the face down there, and it's a couple of paint splatters. Uh, a little unfortunate. MJ is usually really good about their quality control. Uh, so for me to have pointed it out kind of twice in the series is a little surprising. Uh, but. Again, not complaining, just noting. And then here is the Jolly Rancher Slurpee Cup again. Kind of vibe. Very cute. I'm here for it. Here is our other big piece, which is the... Oh, this is camp. It is wonderful. I love it. I wish the other Jolly Rancher girl had a bag like this. This is spectacular. Yes. Yes to that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we have our little hair wrap. Very cute. It just kind of pops on there. Oh, 
it does actually have some spots that it clicks into, never mind. Uh, and then some very cute little shoes that we're going to wait to put on with her dress. Okay, so it's a skirt and a top. Let's double check that there's not a second outfit. Okay, it's just got glasses. Okay. So we're going to get her dressed. Very cute. Bum, bum, bum. that's her look and we're gonna put some shoes on her like that yep now she actually has the little hairband on so that's gonna eat up her glasses spot so I'm not gonna put her glasses on her so we're just gonna put her back there And we've got another one right here that we're gonna go for. And this is our second to last one. But we've gotten some pretty good standouts so far. Like Milk Duds and Hershey's are both very, very, very cute. This Green Jelly Rancher and Twizzlers are very cute. Uh, I am a little disappointed you can't get the boy in both series, especially considering they made him ultra rare, um, but, and it is a little weird of them to have included uh, the little sibling dolls as the ultra rare in these, but it makes sense for Mike and Ike, but if you did like five Jolly Ranchers, you could have done two different Mike and Ikes, um, anyway. See who we got again. If we get duplicates, we're not unboxing the whole thing again. Uh, we got oh, our Whoppers girl. Very cute Whoppers and Milk Duds. I am here for those. Let's get all of these out. She's super cute. Just like that, she's cute. Um, but let's unbox and see what we got. Oh my gosh. She's got a little purse and it actually opens. What? Yes. And it closes and it has whoppers on the back. Yes, please. That works. And then her dress is a one piece. So maybe we'll get a second outfit. I doubt it, but you never know. I didn't think we'd get it in the Hershey's Girl, but we did. Then here's our Whoppers. Again, I've seen Whoppers come in these cartons before, so that's super cute. Um, and then, I don't know what is in here. Just a little necklace. Okay, so no second outfit it looks like. Yep, okay. And these are just shoes, okay. So let's put her together and get on to our last one. And this isn't one that you have to slide up at least. Um, which is kind of nice. I don't like the ones you have to slide because they don't slide over these bulbous little bodies. than squeezing around on top of that stuff. And she's got some cute little socks built into her shoes. Always love to see that. 
bada boom. So there is Whoppers. And then our last one that we're gonna do Pop these girls up there. Oh, she's not gonna stand up correctly because she's only got one shoe on. That's right. Okay. So let's see, this is our last one. The amount of trash that these make is really kind of upsetting. Um, something that I wish MGA would get on, but the majority of it is recyclable, except really for this plastic wrap that they do, the shrink wrapping. Um, but, and they do have these now, which I'm really glad they'd have these, uh, what do you call it? The surprise balls are biodegradable now, so that's great. Uh, I'd love to see Mattel get on that. They did it a little bit with Barbie Loves the Ocean, but not a ton. Um, let's see what our one is. Oh, we got a red Jolly Rancher girl. Okay, so three Jolly Ranchers. So not horrible. At least no duplicates. That's nice. And she's very cute. Uh, but let's see what her accessories look like. Okay. So here's her outfit. Very cute. Just two pieces. Okay. And we've got a bag that looks like a giant cherry. Kind of camp. Kind of cute. I don't know. Uh, not usually a huge fan of character bags like that. Uh, and then we have the little like iced tea kind of thing with Jolly Rancher, which is very cute. And of course a headband. Just like that. And some shoes. And our last little thing is some more glasses. And this is another one piece but it's actually split down the arms so you don't have to really do all too much as far as actually putting it on the doll. You just kind of squeeze it around it, which if you take the head off is a lot easier. Just like that, yep. And we'll put her shoes on, or we put her head back on. Okay, very cute. So there is our Jolly Rancher girl, our red Jolly Rancher girl. Very cute. Um, I don't really have any complaints about this line just because they are pretty much exactly what's advertised. They have a little bit of nostalgia to them. They're, you know, cute, they're quirky, and they do bring in all of your favorite brands, but the price point is a little high, but again, they had to license stuff so at a certain point you go, okay, that's fine, kind of thing. 
I would have loved to have seen all of them with purses that looked like their candies, but alas, they did not all come with purses that look like their candies. But they're very cute. They're all different, which is nice. Some of them do have similar molds, but different coloring. But that's just to be expected with Hellwell at this point. So if you guys have any questions on these, um, if you want to see more of the distribution, this is for the mini sweets, the bowl. I was hoping to get the Miss Smiles, to get the little Pez guy. Um, so I may buy some more of these to try and find her because she's common at least. Um, but other than that, I don't really feel like I missed out on any of these. Now the surprise matics are very cute. They're all really super cute. Um, I do kind of want to get the uh, the grape Jolly Rancher one because she got, she's got another one of those purses that I like. And there's a Pez one on here too. And of course the Bubblegum Boy. But we'll see. That's two commons that I want and the Ultra Rare, which may or may not be easier to find. I'm not sure. But they're all really cute. So if you've enjoyed... Uh, old school candies if you like some of those accessories for your bigger dolls this is the line to get I think because it's stuff that's actually licensed and you know it's not knockoff brands kind of thing like um, like Rainbow High got so yeah these are cool I don't know what to do with these surprise matics though I guess I could put them in like my arcade kind of setup, but we'll see. So as always, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like, and as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings, y'all. Be good. Bye.